What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to identify polyhedrons and also how to name them, all right? So the instructions here just say, tell whether each solid is a polyhedron. If it is, name it, okay? So let's start with this example on the left. So the first thing you wanna look for is curved faces or lines, all right? Because polyhedrons do not have curved faces or lines. And as you can see, this shape doesn't have any curves to it, right? Everything is just made up of solid straight lines. So this is a polyhedron. And the way that you name it is first of all by naming the shape of the base. So the base would just be the bottom over here. Okay, this is the base of the shape. What shape is this? Well, it looks a little bit more like a rectangle than a square to me, so I'm just gonna say it's a rectangle. So this is gonna be called a rectangular. And then with any polyhedron, all polyhedrons, there's only two options. You're either gonna call this a pyramid or a prism. Here, this is a pyramid. And we know this is a pyramid because all the sides of the solid meet at a single point. Okay, so this solid, this polyhedron, is called a rectangular pyramid. Okay, not too bad, right? Now let's check this one. So is this a polyhedron? Well, it looks like it is, right? Because we don't see any curved lines or faces, right? Everything is just made up of solid straight lines. So this is considered a polyhedron. Okay, so in order to name it, again, you just wanna start with the shape of the base. So you can see that the base right here, what shape is this right here? Well, that looks like a pentagon, right? So this is gonna be called a pentagonal. And then again, is this gonna be called a pyramid or a prism? Well, as you can see, this shape actually has two faces that are the exact same, right? We have this pentagon down here, and we also have this pentagon up here. So we have two congruent faces, right? One's at the bottom and the other one is at the top. So when you have two congruent faces like that, then this is called a prism. Okay, so prisms have two faces that are congruent. Sometimes they'll be on the top and bottom like they are here. Sometimes they'll be side to side. Okay, so for instance, if I brought uh, this guy in, it's the exact same shape as this one. All I did was flip it to the side, right? So as you can see, we still have these same faces, right? So the faces or the bases are just on the sides, right? But this is still a pentagonal prism. And then on the other hand, we have pyramids and all the sides of a pyramid just meet at a single point. So those are the two differences between pyramids and prisms, all right? So let's just go over a few more examples. All right, now let's go over these two because these two sometimes get mixed up. So starting with this one on the left. So remember the first thing you wanna look for are any curved lines or faces or shapes, nothing like that here, right? All straight lines, so this is a polyhedron. Right? Now, in order to name it, you might be tempted to say, oh, okay, the, the base is down here, right? But remember, just like in the last problem, sometimes the faces or the bases can be on the sides. And in this case, that's what we have because we have specifically a square, right? We have a square right here and we also have a square right here. So for this, polyhedron, the faces or the bases are on the sides. Okay, so we're gonna wanna call this a square, and then is this a pyramid or a prism? Well, as you can see, all the sides don't meet up at a single point, right? And again, we have the two congruent faces, so we know that this is a prism, all right? So this is a square prism. All right, now, on the other hand, we have this guy, right? Looks pretty similar to this one, but the difference here is all the sides on this solid are rectangular, right? The top is rectangular, the bottom is rectangular. This face right here in the front, this one here in the back, the ones right here on the sides. So everything is rectangular. So in this case, we have a rectangular prism. All right, let's finish up with these last three. So starting right here on the left, as you can see, no curved lines or shapes, right? All straight lines. So this is a polyhedron. The next thing we have to do is just identify the faces or the bases, especially if they're congruent. And here we can see that we do have two congruent 
faces, right? And they're on the sides. So it would be this trapezoid right here, and it's congruent with this trapezoid back here. So those are our two faces. So what shape is that? Again, that's a trapezoid, right? So this is gonna be called a trapezoidal. We have two congruent faces, so this is a prism, trapezoidal prism, all right? Now, the next one is this one right here in the middle. There's no curved lines or shapes, so this is also a polyhedron. And to name it, we again wanna identify the two faces, and here it looks like it would be these two triangles, right? So this triangle right here, and this triangle back here. So this is gonna be called a triangular prism, right? Because we have two congruent faces. All right, lastly, we have this shape right here. It looks like an ice cream cone. And as you can see, we do have this curve right here, right? So that means this shape is not a polyhedron. So if you found the video helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below.